Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap tonight. Amen. Thank you again, sir, for this honor. I am truly honored to be here and to share this moment with us. I believe with all my heart that your life will never be the same. I believe that indeed you would be empowered with grace and power from on high tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. You believe that? Shout a loud believing amen. And so... Uh, I'm not I'm not doing too much of uh, speaking preaching I did a bit of that in the morning and because of our time constraint we'll just pray and then we'll have the opportunity to just minister by the Spirit and I hope and pray and trust that our hearts um, are open to receive the Bible says they heard the word just like they did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it so let me encourage everyone tonight is a night to receive I'm, I'm aware that there are thousands of people at the other overflow where is that now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God will touch you right at the overflow in the name of Jesus so may I request that we all stand and in one minute just cry out to the Lord for a mighty visitation within the few minutes that we have. Is someone praying? Pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding. Ask the Lord for grace. Ask the Lord for supernatural empowerment. Someone is praying. Go ahead and bless his name. Shabarako sapran degebe to siatabada. Kampra to kaparota skepeleko siatabala to siatas. For in Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Please be seated for a moment. Thank you. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, Jesus Christ was speaking to the disciples who would soon be empowered by the Spirit. Remember, until now, Jesus had been with them. He called them at the beginning of his ministry. Some of them were fishermen. Some of them were career persons. And he had picked about 12 of them and then added other 72. In total, on the day of Pentecost, as we know, there were 120 in the upper room. And Jesus spent about three and a half years mentoring them, teaching them on the things that pertain unto the kingdom, the Bible says. And when Jesus resurrected, he gathered them together and for a period of 40 days, Acts chapter 1 tells us that he taught them on the things that pertain unto the kingdom. And then they were concerned about the restoration of the nation of Israel. And they asked him a question. They said, will you at this point restore the nation of Israel? He replies by saying, it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the Father has put within his care. Verse 8 now says, but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, he never said you will be preachers. He never said you will be businessmen. He never said you will be career people. He said you will be witnesses. Now, a witness is a validator of a claim. When you go to the court of law, you do not need a witness until there is a contention. Am I right on that? So the judge will ask you to come with your witness. The assignment of the witness is to prove the truthfulness of a statement or a claim. So there are many things that Jesus said about himself 
and said about the father for instance he called himself the bread of life he called himself the living water am i right on that jesus called himself the resurrection and the life jesus called himself the light of the world jesus said many things he called himself savior in fact he said before your father abraham was i am there were many bold statements that he made and now he's mandating a group of people to be witnesses validators of that claim when you read matthew chapter 10 from verse 1 then you jump to verse 7 the bible says he called them the apostles now in training and the bible says he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and then when you get to verse 7 he says as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is now within your reach and then he says validate that claim verse 8 by healing the sick casting out devils give us verse 8 please he says heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely ye have received and he says to freely give so the believers mandate please listen whether you are a businessman whether you are a man of god whether you're a politician a captain in any industry the those descriptions are simply the geography of your witness your real assignment is to be a witness now theologically speaking believers are classified in twofold number one we are classified based on our identity with christ so the bible calls us joint heirs with christ it calls us heirs of god in john 15 jesus says i am the vine and ye are the branches but then there is a second classification that is based on function he calls us light he calls us salt he calls us kings he calls us priests he calls us ambassadors do you believe that yes and that is a very active office it it that office attempts to put you in a position where there are claims that you must validate with your life but in and through your life the goal as far as being a witness is concerned is that in and through your life in and through your career in and through the efficiency of your witness many will come to know the lord jesus christ and that his glory will be revealed in the earth john chapter 1 and verse 6 and 7 puts it beautifully it says there was a man sent from god whose name was john john 1 6 and 7 7 now says the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light that through his witness all men might believe through his witness all men might believe through his business all men might believe through his ministry of the word all men might believe through his kingdom financing all men might believe at the back of every activity of a believer on earth regardless the activity is the revelation of jesus and the glorification of the same anything outside that circumference is a waste of time from an eternal perspective are we together now so at the back there is an orientation that a believer must sustain to be an effective witness that i am here in business and my project is beyond making money beyond making a name beyond being a person of influence just for nothing that everything we have everything we do everything that we are is tailored towards one single goal the revelation of jesus in john chapter 15 and verse 8 my apologies i'm rushing so that we do much within the time that we have john 15 and verse 8 jesus is teaching and he says herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples john 15 and verse 16 he says you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you the word ordained means to legitimize your operation that you go and bear fruit and that your fruit will remain are we bible students Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, Paul was speaking to the church in Ephesus. And here's what he says, that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. He says, 
unto good works which God had preordained or before ordained that we should work in them. That means everyone has a prophetic destiny in Christ. Your assignment is to work in partnership with the Holy Spirit to discover your place, the geography of your witness, and to work in it effectively. He said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it day for the night cometh when no man can walk again are we still together Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 Paul was speaking and he was explaining the basis for his passion his passion to reach the people to mentor the churches that were under his apostolic covering and he says in verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church the multifaceted wisdom of God that means as a result of the excellence that comes out from your life your ministry your business your family your career men will learn God using the diligence the excellence that flows from your life in fact Galatians 1 24 puts it beautifully please project it for us and I'd like us to read it together read it believing that you are speaking about yourself Galatians 1 24 ready one to read and they glorified God in me one more time and they glorified God in me in other words the working of the Spirit through your life causes men to praise God in a way and manner every time they saw Jesus every time they saw the Apostles they marveled and they wondered were this not ordinary men but they they revealed a dimension of grace and power wisdom and strength that was from a realm that was beyond the earth realm and this is your destiny in Christ are you listening to me now that as a result of your coming to this conference you will access superior wisdom I taught you about the wisdom of Egypt but there is a higher dimension of wisdom the Bible says there is wisdom that cometh from above he said what manner of man is this that the winds and the waves obey him and he spoke with wisdom that I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to gain say nor resist are we learning yes so the manifestation of the wisdom of God in and through the saints like it happened in the life of Joseph like it happened in the life of Daniel they made hedonistic kings to break down and acknowledge the God in heaven even though those people were idol worshippers listen to me that means that everyone here tonight is like one of the foxes of Samson that you will be lit and set on fire you return back to your regions your continents and you begin to burn for God not just by blind fanatism but constructive kingdom advance using the efficiency of your witness if you are in business you excel in a way and a manner that people will come and ask you by what means have you communicated this level of dexterity and intelligence and you will use that as a platform to let them know that the Bible says he that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from above is above all are we still together you are here you are a preacher it's time to be a witness more than just being a good preacher more than just being an orator as important as that is that your preaching and teaching must be backed up with power and grace that produces consistent ever increasing results in the lives of people can I tell you the end church is not ready to follow shadows Paul came and said we have not taught you cunningly devised fables in other words the truth we communicate can be proven there is power and grace when we say Jesus heals we must prove it when we say Jesus lifts we must prove it when we say Jesus can transform a life there has to be your evidence standing before you to be an effective witness there is no true witness that does not have an evidence an evidence is a token of truthfulness when the man at gate beautiful God healed Paul stood before the council and his evidence was standing before him and the Bible says they had no charge against him the reason why men doubt our God is because there are so many scriptural things we have proposed and we have not sustained the grace to demonstrate their validity 
we call him the lifter yet men are not lifted we call him the transformer yet men are not transformed and so we keep shouting amen without results the assignment tonight is that something from heaven will rest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God when we talk about spiritual empowerment please not leave it just for men of God it was said about Daniel in Babylon he was one of the eunuchs that came to Babylon um, through the platform of captivity and slavery yet the excellency of the Spirit of God at work in him distinguished him until he became a president he remained consistent through the reign of over four kings nobody could replace him it was said about Daniel that he had an excellent spirit how about Joseph when Joseph was done interpreting the dream of Pharaoh and then proffering an economic solution that would save Egypt from famine that was coming he said is there any man so discreet and wise there is none we we have such around Egypt and in a moment Joseph was exalted to become second in command hallelujah you see when we claim as believers that we have the Holy Spirit, our results must show that there is real partnership happening. Let it not just be blind church fanatism. I have the Holy Spirit praying in tongues. The presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives must be translated to wisdom, to power, to grace, to favor. Are we together now? My Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. Now, I'd like you to prepare your heart because something from heaven will rest upon you in a few minutes from now. This is my assignment. You believe that? Luke chapter 1. Let it rain. Let it rain. Will you open the floodgates of heaven? Let it rain, let it rain, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. The Bible tells us, please sit down for one minute, that there was this young virgin espoused to a man called Joseph. Like every other young lady, she was excited, preparing for her wedding when a visitor, a very interesting stranger, appears to her in Luke chapter 1. And then she receives a very strange salutation from Gabriel, the angel. And he says, blessed art thou, you are highly favored. And then she wondered at the salutation, the Bible said. And then he began to tell her that she was going to be with child, albeit without the assistance of a man. And she marveled and wondered. 1 and 34. Look, please give it to us. Luke chapter 1 and verse 34. The instruction for the outpouring that will be happening tonight is found in that book of the Bible. Can the media help us? Then Mary said unto the angel, then the businessman said, then the family man said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? How do I build a global business when I do not even have any advantage? How shall I rise from Africa and herald the name of Jesus? It, Mary said, how shall these things be? You are following a route that is not usual. It will take a man and a woman together as husband and wife for a woman to be pregnant. And now you are saying that an earthly man will not play that fatherly role. How shall these things be? Someone came here for this conference asking, how shall it be? that in one year I would rise and scale my influence. How shall it be that my business will suddenly become a global brand, bringing glory to the name of the Lord? How shall it be 
that that which has been spoken by the Lord would come to pass because all of the evidences around me do not look like the word of God is coming to pass the answer is in verse 35 here's what Gabriel tells her in reply the angel answered and said unto her I like this the Holy Ghost shall come on you uh, how shall it be that an ordinary preacher suddenly becomes a global voice the Holy Ghost shall come on you how does an ordinary business from somewhere in Accra Ghana suddenly become a brand across the globe the Holy Ghost this one is beyond the realm of intellect this one is beyond the realm of science I taught us in the morning already on the power of value and productivity I taught us on the power of relationships I taught us on the power of influence but ladies and gentlemen there is an advantage that has been given to the children of men beyond science there is an advantage that has been given to the sons of God it is not an it is the Holy Ghost please keep that scripture Luke 1 35 the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall turn an ordinary businessman to a sign and a wonder an ordinary mother to become a prophetess an ordinary man of God was it not the Holy Ghost that turned Saul to Paul was it not the Holy Ghost that turned Jesus, the son of Mary, the Nazarene, to become Christos, the Christ and the anointed one? The Bible is full of the track record of the Holy Ghost and what he does in the lives of men who give him access. His ministry was first revealed in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. Verse 1 in fact says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 now says, Now the earth was dark, void, formless. And then it says, The Spirit of the Lord hovered round the face of the waters. He is a master at managing darkness and chaos. Every time there's confusion, darkness and chaos you allow him to come and brood upon that darkness and you will watch with shock and wonder even God had to allow the Holy Ghost to start brooding before he spoke it was in the presence of the Holy Ghost that God said speaking without his presence will only amount to making noise he is the life-giving factor power in the heavens resides within the office of the Holy Spirit to a point that Jesus told him, Parry, I have mentored you. You are not bankrupt of ideas, but you need empowerment. Parry, he said, until you be endued with power from on high. Parry, until you be endued with power from on high. I believe that it is in the heart of the leadership of the full gospel that next year by this time, you should return a much superior version of yourself by reason of the empowerment you will be receiving that small startups and businesses will scale at a level a frequency of the spirit yes sir the holy ghost the one who made the rod of aaron even though it did not have root it began to bud and produce fruit the holy ghost for you do you believe this the Holy Spirit is not an exclusive reserve for preachers and men and women of God. In fact, the first revelation of him in the Bible was as a creative spirit. Hovered round the face of the waters. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 15 says, Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, then it says the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine, and that a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. Look at the transition from a wilderness to a fruitful vine, from a fruitful vine to a forest. That is the Holy Ghost for you. Hallelujah. Ordinary men, no comeliness, yet when he came upon their lives, he turned them to signs and wonders. Now in Acts chapter 2 and verse 1, the Bible says, Now when the day of Pentecost 
was fully come it says they were gathered together in one place and in one accord suddenly there was a sound from heaven and the bible says that sound came and filled the room where they were seated and all of a sudden they saw cloven tongues as of fire it came and rested on each one of them when it has to do with the holy ghost everyone can be a beneficiary of his person and his ministry i know that there are a few based on the election of grace the bible will say he gave unto some but when it has to do with the business of the holy spirit it is everybody's inheritance in christ are we together remember when peter preached his message on the day of pentecost the bible says they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what shall we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and then you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and to your children as many as are far off even those whom the lord will call so everyone tonight in christ you are qualified to experience the ministry of the Holy Spirit let me give you very quickly three keys to experiencing the Spirit and experiencing his empowerment tonight the first key is called hunger hunger is currency in the Spirit the Bible says blessed are they that hunger and thirst even biologically hunger is proof of health am i right on that when a patient is sick one of the first signs of ill health is the loss of appetite so you know that someone is sick and is in need of a doctor's attention usually because they lose appetite they no longer are hungry even though they are losing weight the passion to be hungry hunger is a gift when men do not hunger and thirst after spiritual things, when people become passive and careless, it doesn't matter if he comes, let him come. No, you do not experience the fullness of the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the presence of laxity and carelessness. It takes hunger, hunger that is derived from the revelation that without him, there is not much that you can do. Do you believe that? Mm. Key number one tonight, is hunger someone must be ready to be hungry and say I'm tired of an ordinary life I'm tired of doing business in an ordinary way tired of doing ministry in an ordinary way tired of being a young man with no evidence that brings glory to the name of the Lord hunger number two the second key is obedience obedience when it has to do with the business of the kingdom and the business of the Holy Spirit you need obedience obedience to respond to the impulses of the spirit are we together now obedience to respond to prophetic instructions if and when um, it is by the spirit but his manifestation happens at the instance of obedience peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer the bible says and they met this man who had been a gate beautiful for many 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 years and the bible says when they saw him they looked at him and he said look on us and the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive not to be healed expecting to receive obedience also connects to your expectation hunger is expectation now obedience and peter said silver and gold i do not have he said but such as i have isn't it amazing you can know that you have this thing if you are not sure you have it you don't have it you can know like a woman being pregnant she can know there is a baby in my womb right now unquestionably so the bible says when mary and elizabeth the mother of john met the babies within their wombs leapt and they all felt it you can know that you have been empowered by the spirit you can know that you are in rich fellowship with the Holy Spirit, carrying grace that can be demonstrated here and now. Not talking about stories of yesterday as if God has stopped, has stopped moving. Oh, one day something happened there. What is happening now? Did the Bible not say Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever? Am I challenging someone? So number one, hunger. Number two, obedience. Are you ready for number three? The third key that is responsible for receiving 
impartations from the spirit of god please listen carefully number one let me again for your understanding number one i said is hunger and then number two obedience i did not finish my story of the man at gate beautiful and jesus looks at him and i mean uh, peter looks at him and says silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk did you know that man was still seated there he did not walk the bible says peter reached out to him and lifted him and he leaping stood it was at the point of obedience that the power of god was made manifest are we together now yes at the point of obedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience the bible says if and when your obedience is complete so we have hunger and then we have obedience number three the third key that governs maximizing and receiving of the holy spirit and this is a very important one is your motif your motif why do you want the anointing why do you want the grace for most people we have not been taught that your motif vetoes your prayer vetoes your fasting vetoes whatever spiritual activity you are involved in you can fast right pray right live right but once your motive is corrupted if there is any other motivation aside the revelation of jesus and the glorification of the same you will not enjoy the ministry of the holy spirit because when jesus was speaking about the holy spirit he says i have many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now he said he said how be it when he the spirit of truth is come that he will guide you into all truth is that not what the bible says that he will take up the things that are of mine and give to you. he said he will reveal the holy spirit does not even come to reveal himself he comes to reveal jesus so when your motive is just to make a name or to become famous do not get me wrong surprisingly the more you are not interested in these things the more you have them that is how the economy of heaven works when your attention is on jesus above fame jesus above resources Jesus above a name you will find out inevitably that the name the fame and everything in between will follow you why because it is called a reflection principle John chapter 17 and verse 1 it says Jesus lifted up his eyes unto heaven and said father the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee the only way the father is glorified is when the son is glorified now here's the example i always give when i'm teaching on this please i want you to look at this pulpit for one moment did you know that the center of attraction is the top right here this is where my bible is resting on are we together but did you know that you are able to see this because it's supported by another um some pillar and wood here am i right on that the emphasis is not this but it's impossible to look at this pulpit without ignoring this this one right here is you this is jesus so if i want this pulpit to rise up i have to lift everything plus everything supporting it that includes you the only way that jesus is lifted is when you are lifted too so he rejoices at your rising he rejoices at your prosperity because your rising translates to a greater platform where he will be known that i may decrease john said that you may increase he never said that i may vanish that i may decrease i am still there but not to the degree that distracts people away from jesus john's prayer was to decrease not to disappear to decrease to see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy holy oh we'll see you high and lifted up you are shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we 
sing holy, holy, holy. You know, we're discussing not too long ago with Prof. Professor John Kennedy, and we were talking about just this issue of motif. Do you know why men pray and desire power they desire influence they desire to be global in the kingdom and it looks as though god is 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 there's this laxity to lift them because there is corruption within their heart resident within their heart is the desire for self-glorification above the revelation of jesus I prayed and i covenanted with god and this was my covenant with god i said lord may i never know the extent of my impact all I need to know is that you are walking through me to bless the nations, and that is fine with me. Listen to me. I'm about to pray now. For someone here, you've been listening speaker after speaker, but perhaps this is God directly speaking to you. It is not that I cannot give you a million dollars or a billion dollars everything in the kingdom for the believer is not an achievement it's a trust he gave unto one not they found he gave unto one five he gave unto one two a man can receive nothing except he is given where then is the pride of the believer the bible says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the strong man glory in his strength let not the mighty man glory in his might, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Now, for those who are outside of faith, they can brag and say it was the works of my hands. But Deuteronomy chapter 8 gives us a word of caution. Let it not be that when you are now big and you build houses and have all of this, you say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this. Then he says, but thou shalt remember the Lord, because in the presence of plenty you can forget the Lord. Yes, sir. In the presence of fame and glamour and the whole world calling you, some perhaps even worshipping you, it is easy to want to take the stage and say, Jesus, you stand somewhere, just, just allow me to enjoy this moment. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher, be lifted higher. That must be your prayer. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher, be lifted higher. Very powerful song. Let our King be lifted higher. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for as long as it is your business, you will have to take responsibility over the management of it. But when it becomes his business, for as long as it is your ministry, you take responsibility over it. Did the Bible not say, but I know whom I have believed? It says, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed he only keeps what is committed unto him. I hand over my life. I hand over my ministry. I hand over everything that has to do with me. And he says, you trust me that much? Come. And he turns ordinary men. For someone here, perhaps respectfully speaking, you've been full of yourself. That is why there's no space for the Holy Ghost in your life. Can you empty yourself tonight? and give him unrestrained access that he turns your life into a sign and a wonder and please do not tell me the holy spirit has no role to play in your business or your finances mm -mm. you are the first you are the stream you are the hunger living deep inside of me you are the food that satisfies. You are provision for the journey of my life. You are everything. 
that's what it takes to experience his glory you are everything let me sing it one more time you listen you are the first you are the street you are the hunger living deep inside of me you are the food that satisfies you are provision for the journey of my life you are everything everything means everything you are everything can that become your song tonight you are everything one more time you are everything that when men see you their businessman when men see you their politician when men see you their man of god the more they look at you the more they forget about you and remember jesus because you have been so emptied of self your life has become a mirror projecting and revealing jesus this is the ultimate key i know to enjoy the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit beyond and above fasting above and beyond prayer and all these are necessary you can pray from the standpoint of a corrupted lost driven heart hoping to get power so that it can achieve the purpose of self if it is the god of the bible empowering you you must be empty of self hallelujah the man standing before you is a testimony that the holy spirit can help men there's no time to tell you the story of my life but he's turned the life of this man that stands before you to a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the lord i know what it means to be lifted i know what it means to be helped by god i didn't come tonight to waste your time and to downplay on your pedigree this is the full gospel businessman this is a, a summit a collection of smart and intelligent minds well accomplished people at the highest levels so i will not come here to downplay on your pedigree but i introduce to you for some and for others as a renewer the ministry of the holy spirit alongside the empowerment that comes with that ministry for the next few minutes we are going to pray i did request that we come with our prayer request i'll be praying i'll be speaking over the sick and just declaring impartations upon our lives please i want you to believe the next few minutes is going to be a very prophetic session here and i want us to strip ourselves of any robe of religion and any robe of familiarity and be very intentional remember the first key hunger lord i know you are able to help me the man who was sitting by the side of Jericho cried and said, Thou son of David, he said, have mercy on me. Among the many stories that I feel led to share, I will just share one for tonight while you prepare your prayer request. If you're yet to write, do well to bring your, you know, your writing material or perhaps you wrote a few things and then fear did not allow you to spread so far. We're dealing with the God of the Bible here. He's not an idol the bible says in ephesians chapter 3 from verse 20 21 it says now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that we ask or think then it says according to the power that works within us in mark chapter 11 and verse 24 it says what things soever ye believe ye desire when ye pray he says believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them scripture says we have not because we ask not philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 he says to be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known unto god we're about to pray so many years ago desiring to love the lord and serve him with all my heart i had an encounter with the lord jesus christ and when the lord jesus christ appeared unto me 
it would mark a turning point in my life i'm lying down and here he comes into my room jesus himself i have seen him i know he's alive when he walked into my room you could look at any part of him for the rest of your life and not be tired beauty at his brilliance he never spoke a word the only thing he did was to stretch his right hand towards me and light from heaven that kind of light would not come in a human being ordinarily and still leave you alive how i did not die is a mystery i will plead with him to explain when we go to heaven but that light saturated my entire being and ladies and gentlemen from that encounter among many a supernatural translation happened and the lord jesus christ gave me an instruction in another encounter he said to every city and every region and every nation i would send you to that light that came from me to you there must be someone in that meeting who is in need of that same light and that that same light that came from me to you that that light must also rest on that person and like paul i have not been negligent to this heavenly calling this is why i know that your life is about to change i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I, 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 I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have hallelujah I'm already seeing light and fire just moving across this place and I know that that Shekinah glory of the spirit I will not take too much of your time it's going to be a few minutes but I'm praying and trusting that something will rest on someone now and it begins I hear the number three there are three people right now the power of God is going to come upon them and the Lord is saying I should tell you that this is going to be the beginning of a very prophetic shift in your life three of you I stretch my hands wherever you are that power from heaven right now in the name of Jesus let it rest upon you now here's what I want you to do for me please help those under the anointing now except I request that you bring them out please you just do well to manage them there may be ushers but people are limited so do well if someone is under the anointing close to you in the course of the prayer and the ministrations please do well to just help them so they do not injure themselves this is a very sensitive period and I want your heart to be opened in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please bring for me the person who shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody mm -mm. this is by the Spirit mighty God Ali Parus Kadibalasha de Brande Gebere to Sieda. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. You never be the same. Now, please hear me. I want to release a grace for speed. How many of you believe in impartations? There is a grace that can bring acceleration to the life of a man. My Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah 
and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. I stand as one sent by God and in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands right now. Let the grace for speed let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Shout a believing amen. Let it rest upon you now. Help them please. Let it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring them out. I decree and declare speed in business, speed in ministry, speed. I release that grace. You will run like Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. I impart that grace upon you in business. Ten years in one year, ten years in one year, one year in one month in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many of you who have been delayed by forces of darkness so that you do not make progress. It says, I, Paul, desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. I stretch my hands now. Anyone who has been tied at the same position by that fire that comes upon you, I release you now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. Declare in the name of Jesus that you are accessing speed here at this conference. Speed by the Spirit of God. Someone pray. Hallelujah. I don't know this man, but the Lord is asking me to prophesy to this man, sir. An angel of the Lord is touching your head. This man, this uh, like Asian man, this man, I stretch my hands upon you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, you will rise to heights unimagined. And as God is declaring over him, I declare and prophesy over someone. Rise to a new season. Rise to a new season. Rise to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. There is an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. I'm seeing the number 21. There are 21 people right now. I want you to bring them out. That fire will rest on them. Such a dimension of wisdom is about to come upon you. At the count of three, let that grace rest upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Within this auditorium and outside, I impart upon you that grace. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare wisdom imparted over your life. 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 The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. Wisdom speaking with me are riches, wealth and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Now, the Lord is speaking to me. This is to everybody, but particularly, there are a few people here, you are in ministry. And one of the graces that God wants to restore to the body of Christ is the healing anointing. There are not many people, believe me, when I tell you who are truly carrying the healing anointing. And there are men and women right now. I'm about to stretch my hands. Such fire is 
is about to come upon you it is an ignition not just over ghana but from ghana to the ends of the earth right now everyone in ministry called by god to walk in the healing anointing receive this grace at the count of three one two three take this grace now fresh grace a baptism of the healing grace a baptism of the healing anointing a baptism of the healing anointing please help them my god a baptism of the healing anointing in the name of jesus christ now hear me very quickly even though it's, it's full gospel businessmen fellowship I understand that there is the woman expression. Je comprends également qu'il y a des femmes qui font partie de cette communauté. Women have a prophetic role to play in this end times. Les femmes ont un rôle prophétique à jouer dans ces temps les derniers. After the order of Esther of Ruth of Deborah. Selon l'ordre d'Esther de Ruth ou de Deborah. The Lord is asking me to release a grace. Le Seigneur me demande de lever la foi. Women right now. Sur les femmes maintenant. Women, I stretch my hands. Femmes, May ma that mantle come upon you and prepare you to be a mighty vessel. Where are the women of power? That grace that was upon Deborah, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Women who are receiving graces that empower them to pray. Empower them to travel in the place of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me please. Anyone under the sound of my voice. Who has been a victim of any kind of demonic oppression. Because the Bible is not silent as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness. John chapter 10 and verse 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that ye may have life Mais and have that you. more abundantly. Can I declare liberty over you right now? Que je peux la sur vous At the count of three, I'm going to request that you shout the name Jesus. Je et je vais vous le nom that de Jesus. name that is above every other name. Le nom qui est de tout autre nom. And hear me. Et As you shout that name, que vous ce nom. every chain, tout chain, everything that defies the name of God in your life, it must bow here and now are you ready now at the count of three you shout Jesus one two three I release you now I release you now every captivity of darkness be released from it now in the name of Jesus I announce your liberty I announce your liberty blotting out every handwriting that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross I declare your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah if you are trusting God for healing si in any part of your body, please just place your hand there right now. Si you are the trusting God or you came with someone who is trusting God for a miracle. Whether you are here, you are the tent outside. Or perhaps those who are following by way of television or the internet, or the internet lay your hands right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest take your eyes away from the challenge and look unto Jesus something is happening to you right now I sense an anointing among one of the ladies at the choir. One of the ladies at the choir. The power of God is coming on one of them. And the Lord is telling me it's a new season. A new season. A new season. A new season coming upon you. A new season. A new season. A new season. Please place your hand there. 
Mettez votre main là où vous avez mal. I'm about to pray right now. Je suis sur le point de prier maintenant. When I say in the name of Jesus, please respond with a thunderous amen. Quand je dis au nom de Jésus, répondez-moi avec un grand amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. Je réprimande tout esprit d'infirmité. And I decree and declare. Et je déclare et décrète. In the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed now. Be healed now. Blind eyes, be healed now. Deaf ears, be healed now. Migraines, be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Cardiovascular conditions be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. You're having pain any part of your body, your arms, your, your limbs be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone is like your right ear. You are not completely deaf, but you have a problem with your right ear. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Right now, I'm seeing someone. It's like you have a problem with your kneecap. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right where you are. Every blood condition, we declare healing over it now. Whether I mention your case or not for sake of time, I declare healing right now. The Lord is showing me a lady, it's like there is a lump, some growth at the left part of your breast. We, we command that devilish lump to dissolve right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a man here, I don't know if you've gone to the hospital or not, but you're beginning to have signs that seem to show like you're having signs of prostrate. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I bring you life and healing right now. Life and healing right now. Life and healing right now. Every organ in your body that is not in perfect health we, com we command perfection right now in the name of Jesus please bring out your prayer requests bring out your prayer requests for sake of time usually I would, I would love to collate it but for sake of time just lift it up as an whether you have it in, in e format or whatever just lift it que vous avez sur dans votre téléphone écrit ou now, sur papier levez cela listen the bible says écoutez moi la bible dit philippians 4 and verse 6 philippiens 4 6 it says be anxious for nothing il dit ne vous soucier de rien but in everything mais en toutes choses by prayer par la prière and supplication et la supplication with thanksgiving et les actions de grâce let your request be made known unto god faites connaître au seigneur vos demandes how many of you believe that God will answer what you are lifting now? Wave it to Jesus everywhere. Everywhere. It's an act of worship and an act of faith. Now let me speak over it. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ listen 
Some of you written in your papers, your requests. Certains d'entre vous avez écrit sur votre feuille. Are life-threatening conditions. Une situation de vie qui est vraiment désastreuse. But in the name of Jesus. Mais au nom de Jésus. I say it again. Je déclare encore. The Egyptians you see today. Les Égyptiens que vous voyez aujourd'hui. You will see them no more forever. Vous ne les verrez plus jamais. Ladies and gentlemen. Bien aimé. All blessings come from God. Toute bénédiction vient de Dieu. Through men to men. Au travers des hommes pour les hommes. All blessings come from God. Toutes les bénédictions viennent de Dieu. Through men au to travers men. des hommes pour les hommes. So you need God and you need men. Et si vous avez besoin de Dieu, et vous avez besoin des hommes. For many of you, God has said yes. Beaucoup d'entre vous, Dieu a dit oui. But the human vessels that need to partner with Him to also say yes have Mais not answered. Mais le canal que Dieu va utiliser pour dire oui à votre prière n'a pas encore dit oui. The Bible says the Spirit and the bride say come. La Bible dit que l'esprit et l'épouse dit viens. Not the spirit alone. C'est pas l'esprit lui seul. And not the bride alone. Et pas l'épouse elle seule. It is the spirit in partnership with the bride that says come. C'est l'esprit en partenariat avec l'épouse qui dit ensemble. So when, when the spirit says be healed, quand l'esprit dit sois guéri, there must be a human vessel that stands in partnership to say be healed. Il doit avoir un canal humain en partenariat avec le Saint-Esprit qui dit aussi sois guéri. When the spirit says be lifted, quand l'esprit dit sois élevé. There must be a human vessel that also echoes and says we lift it. You don't have a canal vessel, a human that says, so I love it. God already spoke to Ezekiel. You have already spoken to Ezekiel. And yet the bones did not seem to obey what God said. Until Ezekiel the man repeated what God has said. He said I prophesied as I was commanded. And then he said there was a sound. I want to declare. Every human vessel. That has been anointed by God. To walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit. And to make for manifestations of these answers. I call forth their ministry in your life now. I call forth their ministry in your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me declare favor over your life. Je vais déclarer la faveur sur votre vie. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Exodus 3 verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Je donnerai la faveur à mon peuple aux yeux des Égyptiens. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Il arrivera que quand lorsque vous allez partir, vous n'irez pas les mains vides. In Esther chapter 2. En Esther chapitre 2. And verse 15. Et verset 15. The last part of the statement says, "And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her." La Bible dit que Esther a reçu la faveur aux yeux de tous ceux qui portaient le regard sur elle. When you read Esther chapter two and verse eight, quand vous lisez Esther chapitre deux verset huit, very instructive scripture there. Ce passage est tellement instructif. The Bible says. La Bible dit that when they came together, verse eight. Now, quand ils sont venus ensemble, verset huit. Now go to verse nine. Allons verset neuf. Esther chapter 2 and verse 9. Esther 2 verse 9. The Bible says, And Esther obtained kindness of him. And the Bible says, He speedily gave her. He speedily gave her. Because there was favor. Do you know that giving is time dependent? You can be given but too late. Vous savez, le tonnerre est très fait dans le bon temps. On peut vous donner, mais en retard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beauty of receiving gifts is that they come when they are needed. La joie de recevoir un don, c'est lorsque vous recevez le don en temps. Just because there is a hand to extend benevolence to you does not mean that every time is convenient. C'est pas parce que la main est tendue et vous remet un don veut dire que le temps est approprié ou favorable. Giving is good, but giving is best when it is given on time. Donner est bon, mais c'est mieux lorsqu'on vous offre ce don dans Therefore, le temps convenable. Name of Jesus. Et si au nom de Jésus. Over every business here. Tout à fait, si over présent. every career here. Si tout carrière, si I decree and declare. Je déclare, déclare. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. In the name of Jesus. For every request you have lifted, I declare speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ.
My final assignment and then we are done. Ma dernière mission et je vais laisser le micro. My final assignment and then we are done. Ma dernière mission avant de laisser le micro. As great as all these miracles and manifestations are, aussi grand que ces manifestations ces miracles sont, my greatest desire, mon plus grand désir, and I believe that that is the great that is the desire of the spirit. Et je crois que c'est le désir de l'esprit. Is that God would fan back? C'est que Dieu va revenir, il va trouver à nouveau every dead prayer life. Toute vie de prière morte. Every dead word study life. Toute vie de toute morte. Because you see, you are as healthy as your spiritual life. Voyez, votre santé dépend de votre vie spirituelle. If you are financially vibrant and spiritually dead, you are not all right. Si vous avez de l'argent spirituellement, vous êtes mort, il y a un problème. If you are intellectually sound and spiritually dead, you are not all right. Si vous êtes très intelligent et vous êtes mort spirituellement, il y a aussi un problème. So the Bible says, "Awake thou that sleepest." Et si la Bible dit, "Lève-toi, toi qui dors." It says, "And Christ will give thee light." Christ te donnera la lumière. It says, "Walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise." La Bible dit, "Non, marchez comme des personnes sages et non des personnes insensées." Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Respectant le temps parce que les jours sont très mauvais. We are all going to pray that prayer. Nous allons faire tous ensemble cette prière. And it's a personal prayer that I want you to make to the Lord Jesus right now. Et c'est une prière personnelle que je voudrais que vous adressiez au Seigneur maintenant. A fresh commitment to love Him. Un nouvel engagement de l'aimer. A fresh commitment to live for Him. Un nouvel engagement de vivre pour lui. The engracing and the discipline. To get your prayer life back on track, la, your word study life back on track. La grâce de la discipline de prier et de méditer comme auparavant. Go ahead and lift your voice in one minute. Levez la voix en une minute. Commencez à prier. Father, restore my prayer fire. Père, restaure mon feu de prière. Restore my word study life. Restore ma vie d'étude. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Go ahead and pray. The Bible says, "Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure." La Bible dit que la fondation sera demeure ferme. Having this seal, that the Lord knoweth them that are His. Le Seigneur connaît ceux qui l'appartiennent. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Que toute personne qui s'appelle du nom du Seigneur. Please pray. Just one minute. Let there be a cry from your heart to heaven. Fresh fire upon my prayer life. Fresh fire upon my word study life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the same vein. I want us all together as a united family, inside and outside, we are going to pray in one minute for the full gospel businessmen fellowship. Dans le même esprit, je voudrais que ceux qui sont ici, ceux qui sont dehors, en une minute, nous allons prier pour la communauté des hommes d'affaires. We were taught in basic biology that one of the characteristic of living things is that they grow. Il a été, on a appris à l'école de façon biologique, l'un des caractéristiques des choses qui vivent, c'est que ces choses-là croissent, elles grandissent. So growth is proof of life. Ainsi, la croissance est la preuve de la vie. Every time life is taken out of a person or a system, growth stops. Toute fois qu'on retire la vie d'un système ou d'un être humain, la croissance s'arrête. And the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect. Mais la vie dit que les voies du juste brillent. In one minute, en une minute, from the depth of your heart, depuis la profondeur de ton cœur, and in coeur, gratitude to the God of heaven, et en reconnaissance à l'Éternel, I want you to pray over this prophetic platform, the full gospel businessmen. Please cry unto God. Je veux que tu lèves la voix et que tu pries. Go ahead and pray. Lord, sustain the leaders. Seigneur, soutiens les leaders. Across all the regions, across the nations of the earth. Au travers des régions et des nations de la terre. Pray for the president. Prie pour le président. For his team. Pray for all the delegates who have traveled from across the globe. Go ahead and pray. Invest in one minute in prayer. Someone is praying in one minute. Someone is praying. Father, let this fellowship, let this platform go from glory to glory. Grace to grace. Height to height. For in Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. 
I decree and declare that the empowerment that has come upon you will begin to speak immediately. Je déclare et je décrète que la puissance que vous avez reçue va commencer à se manifester immédiatement. And that you will not have to tell people you came here. Your results will do the speaking for you. Vous n'aurez pas à dire aux gens que vous êtes arrivés ici, mais les résultats parleront pour vous. In Jesus' name we are praying. Au nom de Jésus nous avons prié. I want to thank you one more time. I do not take this for granted. Je thank you for the love. Thank you for the honor. Je ne prends pas pour la légère. Merci pour l'honneur. Thank you, Ghana. Thank you for God's love. Merci, Ghana. Merci pour le temps de l'évangile. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen.